Everybody ready for art? Everybody ready to listen? Listening ears? Let me see the listening ears. Let me see them. Got listening ears. Olivia has them. We got them. What about, what about, what about uh, half a sheet of paper like this? Half a sheet of paper going up and down today? What about, what about a pencil? Good. What about a black marker or a black crayon? Anybody got these? Oh, very nice. That's a big box of crayons. Okay, today we're going to talk about my favorite artist in the whole world. My favorite artist is... A very, very, very important artist. A lot of people say he is a genius. He was a genius. Um, my favorite artist was born in Spain. He spoke Spanish. And when he was a baby, his parents were so happy that he was born. They were so happy to have a baby. They couldn't decide what to name him. So they named him... Pablo Diego Jose Francisco de Paula Juan Neo Pomencio Mario de los Remedios, Cipriano de la Santissima Trinidad Martyr, Patricio Clito Ruiz y Picasso. He had 23 names. That was his whole name. And when he grew up and became an artist, he had to decide which name to put on all his paintings. So he picked his mother's last name which was Picasso. So we know him just simply as Pablo Picasso. His first name was Pablo. That was his one and only first name he picked. And he chose his mother's last name to put on his painting. So he signed his paintings just simply Picasso. So when he was born, he was given 23 names, which is way too many names, way too many. So he picked Picasso. And Picasso is an important artist, was an important artist, because Picasso, and I have a picture of him on my iPad. Here he is. There he is. There's Pablo. He's an important artist because he was always changing the rules. In fact, he was always not only breaking the rules, but he was changing the rules of art. Here's a picture of Pablo. There he is. This is what he looked like when he was an old man. So the thing about Pablo that's important is that he was always breaking the rules and then changing the rules. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Everybody ready? I got a little story about Pablo. Then we're going to make a picture that looks like Pablo, one of Pablo's pictures. Okay, can we do it? This book is called Pablo's it's called Picasso's Trousers, and there he is. Trousers is a fancy name for pants. In the United States, we say pants instead of trousers, but this story was written in England, and that's where they say trousers instead of pants. So we can call this story Picasso's Pants. Oh, Lola is very excited. I can see her. Picasso's trousers. Picasso was an artist. Here he is. And when he was a young man, he wanted to go to Paris to paint because that's where all the important artists were. And his papa said, no, 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 Picasso. But Picasso said, yes. And there is Picasso in Paris, France. And there he is with his art stuff. And Picasso said, yes, he went to Paris, France. And when he was in Paris, France, he painted lots of pictures using blue paint. And they said, you can't paint pictures with all blue paint, Picasso. No, no, no. But Picasso said, Yes, and here he is painting all his pictures with 
blue paint. And this is one of his important pictures that was very blue. Picasso got to Paris, France, and guess what? He had no money. He had no friends. He had no food. He had no heat in his apartment. He was cold and hungry and sad, and he missed his home. And he painted pictures that were sad. And he painted pictures of other people who were sad and hungry and cold. But something happened. Picasso fell in love. And then he changed his pictures and he painted pictures that were all pink. They were rosy and happy and pink because he was happy. And they said, Picasso, no, 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 you can't paint with all pink. But Picasso said, yes. Now, Picasso was very good at painting faces. Here are two of his paintings of faces. He was very good at painting faces. Picasso liked to paint faces from the front and from the side. So he decided to paint a face from the front and the side at the same time. You can't paint a face from the front and the side at the same time. No, 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 Picasso. But Picasso said yes. He painted this lady from the front. And he painted this lady from the side. And then he put them together and he painted this lady from the front and the side all on the same face. Isn't that the silliest picture you ever saw? He has this side of the face facing front and this side facing from the side all in one painting. Picasso said, I'm going to break the rules and do it my way. And he painted this crazy face from the front and the side. Soon, Picasso left the big city of Paris, France, and he went to the south of France where the colors were beautiful. I think he is at the beach. Picasso liked to make art out of anything. So Picasso decided to make art out of bike parts. You can't make a painting or a sculpture out of bike parts, they said. No, 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 Picasso. But Picasso said yes. And he made this sculpture out of bike parts. This looks like a handlebar. This is the seat. And it says, moo, Picasso loved the bullfights in Spain. So he made this sculpture that looked like a bull. Picasso liked to paint things that were heavy. Every time he painted something, he said, it doesn't look heavy enough. You can't paint heaviness. No, 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 Picasso. But Picasso said yes. So here is the lady that sat still for him. This is the model. See, she's skinny. She has skinny legs and skinny feet and skinny arms. But this is the painting Picasso made. Look, his painting made her look very heavy with big arms and big feet and big shoulders. Picasso had this as the model and he painted the lady looking very heavy. So he broke the rules. Picasso became a fast painter. They said, you can't paint a picture in 30 seconds, Picasso. No, no, no. But Picasso said yes. And he painted this picture of a clown in 30 seconds, and he drew this picture of a dove in 30 seconds. Picasso was very fast. Picasso became the greatest painter in the world. And he wanted to be the best dressed painter in the world. So he decided to buy some new pants to match his favorite stripy shirt. And when he went to the pants store, all the pants, all the stripes, see the stripes, they were all going the wrong way. You can't have stripes going the other way, they said. They'll make you look short in pet. No, 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 Picasso. You have to buy pants with the stripes going this way. No, said Picasso. No, no, no. 
So Picasso went to the tailor and he said, I want a pair of pants, but I want the stripes going sideways, just like my favorite shirt. So the tailor got the fabric, he started cutting, he started sewing, and he showed them to Picasso and Picasso said, yes, that is what I want. Pants with the stripes going sideways, just like my favorite shirt. Picasso was so excited and here he is. Yes, said Picasso. Stripey shirt, stripey pants. And here is Picasso wearing his stripey shirt and his stripey pants, painting pictures in his art studio and look what else he got. And Picasso said yes. So we're gonna look at a couple pictures on my iPad of Picasso who liked to break the rules. I told you Picasso was always breaking the rules. So here is another one of Picasso's paintings. It's a little girl holding a dove. This is a portrait. Portrait is a painting of a person. And Picasso loved to paint pictures of people. He loved to do portraits. It's a little girl holding a dove and then Picasso painted this lady. Yep. See how she has one eye facing forward. The other eye is sideways. There's colors, there's stripes, there's crazy patterns. Because no one ever saw anything like this before. Picasso was breaking all the rules. Everybody said, this is not right, Picasso. And Picasso said, yes, it is. Here's another one. I'll show you another one. Here's the one that was in the book. This is important. This is what we're gonna work on today. This is the portrait of the lady with her one half of her eye facing forward and the other half of the picture, her eye is sideways. Picasso was very important. He created a new style of painting called cubism because it had lots of cubes, straight lines. Here's another one. Do you see how the face, this side of the face is facing sideways and the other half of the face is facing forward. Two halves of the same lady, the same face. Yeah, and that's what we're gonna work on today. Gonna break all the rules. All right, everybody got your pencil? Let's get started. We're gonna do our picture up and down. Here's my example. This half of the face is sideways, and this half of the face is forward, and we're gonna use lots of colors and lots of crazy mixed up shapes, just like Picasso. And we're gonna draw it together and we're gonna break all the rules. We ready? Can we do it? All right. Let's get started. Our picture today is up and down. We need a half a sheet of paper that goes up and down. Everybody get your pencil. I'm gonna show you how to draw this Picasso portrait with my black marker. And you're gonna switch to black marker or black crayon in a minute. Lila has her purple pencil, so we're ready to go. All right, half sheet of paper going up and down. And this is our first step. We're gonna draw the shape of the face. <clears throat> Excuse me, right in the middle of the page. We have to leave room at the top for the hair. We have to leave room at the bottom for the neck and the shoulders. So right in the middle <clears throat> is where we're gonna start with the shape of the face. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> How's that? Now, we're gonna add two ears. 
They don't have to be perfect because we're breaking all the rules. There's no rules today. Good, now I want everybody to switch to your black marker or your black crayon. Time to switch. Switch over to a black marker or a black crayon. And I want everybody to carefully go over your pencil lines you just drew with the black. So you can see them nice and bold and dark black. So it looks a little bit like mine. Okay, well, wait a second. Let everybody get caught up. Now, at the bottom, I want you to draw two lines that look like this. I'll let everybody get caught up. Okay, next step. After the neck, we're gonna take the neckline and go out like this on the sides to make shoulders. Very easy, just make some shoulders coming out from the neck. Okay, everybody ready? Lola and Lila ready? <clears throat> oh, okay. Olivia ready? All right, this part gets a little bit tricky. This part's a little tricky, so we really gotta watch Miss Susie and watch, see what I do next. We're gonna find the middle at the top and we're gonna slowly and carefully draw a line that goes down and then halfway I'm gonna make a bump out for the nose and then a line that goes straight down. I'll show you Lila, Lola and Lila watch start up here, go straight down, make a little bump out and then keep going straight down. Take your time, no hurry. All right. When everybody's ready, we're gonna do the next step. We're gonna figure out her eyes now. So on one side, doesn't matter which, I want you to draw an oval or a football or a lemon. Just on one side, just one side. 
draw a little oval or a lemon or a football next to the ear. And then we're going to draw an eyeball in there. Their black marker or our black crayon. Ta da! We got one eye. Oh, Mr. Wesh, great job. Okay. Let's add some eyelashes. And then we're going to add eyebrow. My eyes need an eyebrow. It can be big, it can be small, any kind of an eyebrow shape will work. Something that looks a little bit like this. Now when you're ready, we're gonna do the other eye. And this is the eye that's facing the side. So this is a little bit tricky, but I know my art friends can do it. Everybody ready? All right, this is a little bit tricky, so watch me. On this side, we're gonna draw a sideways V. Look, shape like that, a V. Sideways V with the point next to the ear, sideways V. And then inside that V, we're gonna draw a tiny little eye shape, just like that. See it? We're gonna close up that V with a little tiny line and an eyeball. Crazy mixed up silly face. So a sideways V. Really good. Take your time. You ready, Mr. Wesh? All right, now that eye needs an eyebrow. And some eyelashes. Okay. Now let's do, Olivia, you ready? Let's do a mouth. Let's figure out a mouth down here. Any kind of mouth you want. Remember, there's two sides of her mouth, so we're gonna do her mouth in two sides. It can be big, it can be small. No rules today, it's Pablo Picasso. Any kind of a mouth will do. Now, last step, and then we're gonna get to our colors. We're gonna add the hair. It can be any kind of crazy hair you like. It can be big, it can be small.
It can be zigzaggy, it can be dark and curly, it can be short or long, it can make some crazy hair. There's no rules, there's no right way or wrong way. You do it whatever way you like. Remember Pablo was always breaking the rules. He was always making it look crazy and different. He was trying to shock people with how crazy his paintings were. So now we're gonna get crazy. We're gonna add a circle to her cheek. Another circle. And I put a triangle on this cheek. And add some crazy shapes to her face. Ready, Olivia? Now we're gonna get out the colors. When you're ready, now let's look at my example again. So just like Picasso, we're gonna break all the rules and we're gonna put some crazy mixed up colors on the face. Here's another one of Pablo's pictures. Put lots of yellow and a big purple circle on the face. He did a lot of crazy colors, green and red and orange. It's a picture of Pablo. Oh, here's the one I want to show you. Remember this one? Let me see Lola. Let me see Lila's. Lila, I love it. Good job, let me see Lowe's. Let me see Lolo. Gorgeous, fabulous. Let me see Divine's. Mr. Divine, show me yours. Oh, wow. Let's get some color on there. Now it's time for color. Let's get out all the colors. You can use markers or crayons, whichever you like. I did this one with crayons. And I used as many crazy mixed up colors as I could. I did color one side of her face all yellow and the other side all orange. And that's where you should probably start. You can start anywhere, but if I were you, I would start on one side of the face. Today I'm gonna to use green and I'm gonna color the sideways face with green. And the whole point is to make these look as different and unusual and as mixed up as possible. But just like Pablo, we're gonna use a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of colors. A lot of crazy mixed up shapes and colors on this lady's face. Oh, 
So I got a green face and a blue face, all on the same lady. So what we're trying to do is mix up the colors and make them look as silly and as crazy as we can because we are breaking all the rules today, just like Pablo did. Lila, I see Lila's got her markers out. Hey, you know what you can do, friends? You can switch. If you have markers and crayons, there's no reason why you can't use both on the same picture. You can use markers or crayons. Just make it look really bright and colorful and silly. Because we're breaking all the rules today. Just like Picasso. And when Picasso showed his paintings to the important art people, they said, Picasso, you are crazy. And now we look at Picasso's paintings and we say, Picasso was not crazy. He was a genius. Don't forget to color the ears. Now, once you have the face cover colored and the ears, don't forget to do the bottom part of the picture. Okay, show me Lolo. What do you got? What you got, Lolo? Lolo? Let me see it. Oh, okay. Lola has to put color on hers. Let me see Lila's. Keep going, Lila. Let me see Kyle Devine. Love, 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 love it. Ava. Who 
else do I see? Lindsay Gruner Albright, let me see yours. Oh, you did a background. Awesome. Great job. Let me see Mr. Weshes. Mr. Weshes in his pajamas. He looks good. Oh, love it. Awesome. Breaking all the rules. Great job. Let me see Olivia's. Lola, I love it. Keep going, you're doing great. And when you're done, if you want to, you can add a background. Some kids already did a background. But I'll show you some examples of backgrounds. There's a lot of backgrounds. Background is always good to put on. Here's one. You can see it. Pablo just put stripes in the background. See the stripes? Remember we talked about his stripey pants? So stripes is a really good background. This is one where he put crisscrosses and spots in the background. That is very fancy. Here's the lady that was in the book. And that background looks like Cheerios on a zigzag kind of quilty pattern, like a grid. That's very elaborate, but I think I want stripes in my background today. I'm just gonna put stripes, gonna keep it simple, and I'm gonna use my marker, and I'm gonna draw just stripes in the background. How's that? I love it. You guys did awesome today. Beautiful, Picasso is fascinating. You know, when Picasso was in school, he hated school. He was not a good at school. Hated school, he was badly behaved. He got in trouble all the time. And they put him in timeout when he was bad. He was badly behaved at school and they would put him in timeout in a little closet and he was allowed to draw. They gave him pencils and his tablet. So when he was in timeout, he could just draw all day long when he was a little kid in school. Okay, can everybody show your picture? Can everybody hold it up? Everybody take a minute and hold it up. Beautiful. I love these crazy mixed up portraits. Everybody's doing such good work. I love these. Every, wow, my gosh. I'm so proud of everybody. I'm so proud. Everybody did such a great job today. Keep going. I wanna see these all finished up. So I'm gonna tell you one more thing is that's important about Pablo Picasso. Pablo loved children. And Pablo said every child 
is an artist. So that means every single one of you is an artist. Every child is an artist. And that is the truth, I believe that. So Lola is an artist and Lila is an artist and Noah is an artist and Olivia is an artist. Every child is an artist and that is the truth. I'm so proud of everybody. Everybody did a, such a great job today. Thumbs up, high five. A high five on the camera from Miss Susie. You guys nailed it. So proud. Such a great job today. Crazy mixed up portraits. With no rules. Remember, we changed all the rules today. Everybody did a great job. Lola keeps pulling crayons out of that big box of crayons. I'm proud of you. I'm so proud of all of you. So I'm gonna say goodbye. It's time for me to say goodbye. Next week, we're gonna do something different. It's not gonna be a peacock and it's not gonna be a sea turtle and it's not gonna be a portrait it's going to be something totally different next week if you're ready and if you want to come back come back next week because we have another really fun art project next week okay friends everybody good <laughs>